there. Thank you so much for stopping by today. My name is Luann and I'm so happy that you're here because with the holidays right around the corner, I have a super easy mashed potato recipe for you that's going to be made in the Instapot. Also in this video, when it's time to get everything mashed up and fluffy, I've been asked to do a review of the Redmond Hand Mixer. So we'll be going over the details of this and do a little unboxing later in the video. So if you're looking for a super easy mashed potato recipe that's not going to take up a lot of space on this stove or a lot of time, then be sure to stick around. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and jump right into this recipe. And the first few items that you're going to need are right here in front of me. And that's going to be two pounds of russet potatoes. You can use golden if you prefer. And what we're going to do is we're going to peel these and cube them into about one inch cubes and wash them. Next, you're going to need one cup of chicken broth. If you don't have broth, that's perfectly okay because you can use water. I just personally love the extra flavor that it adds when you use the chicken broth. And then I also have one teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Now I'm going to go ahead and get these potatoes prepared and put them in the Instapot and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so here's our potatoes. They have been peeled cubed into one inch pieces and rinsed. Now the next step is just to put them right in the Instapot. And to that, I'm gonna pour our one cup of chicken broth. One teaspoon of salt. And a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And now we're just gonna give it a good stir. Put the lid back on. And make sure that your valve is to sealing. Next, we're gonna set our Instapot on 10 minutes high pressure. And when it's finished, you're gonna do a quick release. What that means is when the time is up, just take a spoon, release the pressure with your valve and let all the steam out. Okay, well, I thought that since the Instapot's back there doing its magic for the next 10 minutes. We'll go ahead and do the unboxing and the review for the Redmond Hand Mixer. I feel that this comes at a perfect time for me because my son keeps asking to borrow my hand mixer. And it's so close to Christmas, I thought this would be the perfect gift to get him. Okay, you can see here that we have our regular beaters. Two regular beaters and two dough hook beaters. Okay, and I love the feel of this. This feels very sturdy. It has a really good weight to it, and I love how it looks. Take a look at that. It is so sleek. Okay, simple as that. This feels really good, and I can't wait to try it on these mashed potatoes. Well, in case you're interested in possibly getting a hand mixer for someone on your Christmas list, let me take just a couple minutes to tell you a little bit about Redmond and their products. The Redmond hand mixer is five speed with a turbo design, a one button injection design, and it also has a fast and efficient heat dissipation design. The Redmond brand employs over 2,000 employees and there are more than 120 shops that are located in over 35 countries. Redmond also maintains rich, long-term partnerships with many online influencers. Redmond has over 150 patented products with high product performance and high quality after-sales service. This includes strict product inspection at each production stage, free replacement for quality problems within one full year, and multi-channel customer service over email, Facebook, and Instagram. 
Redmond has a worldwide reach with over 4 million families using Redmond equipment and sales of over 300,000 pieces in 2020 on Amazon. Please be sure to go and check out their website at redmondhome.com. And as an added bonus, they're offering all of my viewers a 20% discount. Okay, so now here are the final two ingredients in this delicious recipe, and that is a half a cup of butter. You heard me right, a half a cup is one whole stick of butter, and then one cup of warm milk. And the warm milk is the secret ingredient to having the creamiest mashed potatoes ever. So let's go ahead and grab those potatoes and start mixing our ingredients. At this point, we're gonna remove the lid. And I can't even begin to tell y'all how delicious this already smells. There's something about adding that chicken broth that just really makes it smell and taste so much richer. Okay. Now to start out with, we're gonna add the half a cup of butter. Okay. And then the one cup of warm milk. And like I said, the secret to the creamiest mashed potatoes is to use warm milk. And the next step we're gonna do is just to mash it with a potato masher. If you don't have one, that's just fine. You can go right into using the mixer, but whenever you take just a few minutes to do this extra step, they're gonna be even more creamy and delicious. Now this recipe does call for two pounds of potatoes. I actually use three because I like mine to be a little more firm with the option to add more milk or broth if I need to. So now that we got this mashed, now we're gonna get that Redmond mixer and fluff it up. Okay, y'all, I can't even begin to tell you how impressed I am with the power behind this hand mixer. This is one. Two. Three. Four. Five. That is some unbelievable power in this little hand mixer. So I hope I don't sling my potatoes everywhere, but here we go. Okay, well let's get this in a bowl and give it a good taste test. Okay, seriously, who doesn't want mashed potatoes now? Don't these look so delicious? I need a better descriptive word. Everything is so delicious. This actually is though. Mmm, this is so good. I couldn't even wait to do an official taste test. Mm -mm. Well, if you haven't tried them yet, I hope that you do get a chance to try out Instant Pot Mashed Potatoes. They're the best I've ever tasted. And Redmond, I'm very impressed. And I'm sure you will be too. So be sure to check out that discount code down below in the description box. And while you're down there in that description box, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you'll go ahead and do so. I would love to hear from you in this video, but also in future videos. Well, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for sticking around and spending time with me today. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!